multiplying integers. So again, I'm going to show you a comparison, a compare and contrast of the two different strategies in which we need to approach multiplying integers. And this again deals with different signs. and same signs. So the product of two integers with different signs is negative. So for example, If I have 6 times negative 4, that will give me a negative 24. Again, think about it in this way. We have 6 negative 4s. So I could actually show 6 negative 4s. You could also think of it as counters. So there's a counter, 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 and there's a counter. And each of those counters is worth negative fours. And again, we could add all those up. And so, in a sense, this is the same as repeated addition. So what happens if they are the same signs? So the product of two integers with the same sign is positive. So let's illustrate what two positive integers look like, which is what we're most familiar with at this point. 2 times 6, and that's equal to 12. But what happens if they're both negative? So I have a negative 2 times a negative 6. Well, in a sense, this is really taking the opposite of the numbers, the integers, and gives us 12. So basically the negative 2 is negating the negative 6 and uh, resulting in a positive outcome. So the other one more thing I wanted to add here is that we have 2 times 6 can also be written as 6 times 2 based on our commutative property of multiplication. This is just a review, but wanted to remind you that this is possible when you're approaching some other problems. So same with negative numbers. We have negative 2 times negative 6 is equal to negative 6 times negative 2. Finally, one more example I wanted to show you. And this is the commutative property, by the way. Is if we have exponents, because I do see those uh, frequently at this level. Uh, and you should have learned a little bit about it last year, but let's review. So if I have 3 raised to the, uh, rather negative 3, raised to the second power, what does that mean? That basically means that this is repeated multiplication of negative 3 twice. So we have negative 3 times negative 3, and that results in a positive 9. But what happens if it was negative 3 raised to the third power? Well, then I would have negative 3 three times multiplied to itself. Well, notice how this, these first two result in 9, but I still have another negative 3. And now, because they are not the same sign, it's going to result in a negative product, negative 27. 